एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू द एस चांद अकेडमी इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द फाइल हैंडलिंग हाउ टू हैंडल द फाइल्स and what is the concept behind the file handling i am dr shriyash atri and these are the some good books from the s chand publishing file handling a file is a collection of data stored on secondary storage it is a ready made structure called file which is which has been defined in the header file stdio dot h file when we are using the file handling the predefined ready made structure is also provided which is called as file and it is it is always written in a capital letters upper uh, upper case and the meaning of this file is written in a header file stdio dot h now here it is written it is a collection of data stored on a secondary storage so what is the concept of file handling understand this so uh, this is ram okay keyboard here it is a this is keyboard so whatever you are pressing the that goes inside the ram and the whatever the program you are writing from the keyboard everything is going inside the ram and on the monitor you are it is displayed whatever you are typing this is a monitor nothing is saved permanently in a hard disk when you when your program executes okay so everything goes out when you run run the same program again then whatever the variables you have used that go inside the ram and stays inside the ram and when the program do, done then it deletes from the ram now the file handling is to save everything what is ever whatever we are running whatever the values we are inserting those values must permanently be uh, placed in a hard disk so how to use that so to save permanently the data which we are entering from the keyboard into the hard disk the concept is called file handling so using the concept of file handling this is my this is hard disk so whatever the process whatever the values we are inserting into the ram and when we saved it those goes inside the hard disk okay and when we call those values from the hard disk those values goes inside the ram and from the ram it is uh, it is going to print in inside the monitor so let me briefly explain again you are inserting from the keyboard whatever the you are inserting it goes into the ram okay when you are executing it the values you need to permanently save those values you need to permanently save in the hard disk using the concept of file handling and when you need to access those values again so from the hard disk it goes again inside the ram and from the ram it is displayed on the monitor so how to do all these things how to prepare the files Uh, so we we need to understand the concept of file handling so the file handling allows us to create update read and delete the files so what are the files there are two types of files one is text file and another is binary file so text file which stores the information in ascii characters and binary files which stores the information in 0 and 1 okay whatever you are writing Uh, you are writing in a text but when you are saving in a binary file the text converts into the 0 and 1 and saved as a binary file so we are unable to write this binary file but computer can uh, read and write those binary files so for using the concept of file uh, handling we need for following file handling functions f open means it is used to open the existing file if the file is already available in our hard disk then f open will open that file f print f it is used to write data in existing file if the file is already there you now if you want to print the data into the file not on the monitor into the file then we use the f print f 
use read data from the file f scanf earlier the scanf was used to read the data from the keyboard if you want to read the data from the file then we need to use the function f scanf then f put c again it is used to write character in a file f printf f put c both are similar with the difference then similarly f get c used to read character from a file again f scanf and f get c the purpose of both f scanf and f get c is to read the characters from the file and display on the monitor but with that difference there is a difference between scanf and get c then f close used to close the existing file whatever the file we have opened that file needs to be closed okay so these are the very basic function of uh, there are other functions also but we will study these basic functions of file handling to make you understand to make you more understand again declaration of file pointer the file pointer is always declared like that file star fptr fptr is a variable which is of pointer type and it is having the structure file so how to open the file we have first of all we have to declare the file pointer with the file fptr f open file name dot text always the file name is a string so that string must be written in a double quotes with the extension that means our file is text file or binary file that extension we need to give it then mode now what is the mode a mode means uh, we need to open that file in a read mode write mode or in appending mode we will discuss it then file fptr create a file f open file name whatever the file name you want to give and uh, what which type of file you want to give text file those so dot text dot txt and w is a mode and w is a mode writable mode that means if the uh, let's uh, understand the f open first if the file is not exist this f open function will create that file and it open the file in this w mode that means writable mode we can write the uh, content or we can write the data into the file and f close fptr that means this f close function will close this fptr file so let's understand this modes so these are the various modes r and rb r means read okay a file for reading the content and rb means read in binary similarly w and wb means w to open a file for writing the content okay if you are opening the file in w mode then you need to write that means uh, the compiler will understand that in this file we need to write it in wb that means it will open the writable mode in a binary format similarly a and append the meaning of append here is open a file for appending the content that means data is added to the files and in a program difference between write and append is whenever uh, you are writing it will delete the previous data and start writing freshly but you don't want to delete the previous data you want to delete Uh, you want to enter the data after the already ex existing data then for that we need to open the uh, file in an append mode okay it is if, if the file does not exist in the location then it will create a new file that this is a, it is a another property of append if the file is not available then it will open the file okay and uh, it will create the file in the appending mode similarly r plus w plus a plus open a file for appending and reading the content r plus means open a file for both writing and reading the content w plus means open a file for both writing and reading okay r b w b a b means it is opening the file in a binary format and only r w a r plus w plus a plus means it is opening a file in a textual format or in ascii format so that a human can easily read it so this is the explanation of various modes of file handling now concept of file handling opening a file and closing of a file see this is a program now you can see a screenshot i have taken of my ide indicate development environment 
okay this is a function file star fptr fptr f open test dot text and it is opening in a writable mode and f close fptr now what happens here when we execute it what happens see here this is the at this particular location this is the by default location which is provided by this id okay see this is the location of id where the file dot c okay this is the name of my function this is the name of my program file dot c this file dot c is saved in which this this uh, code is written and and at this particular location see both the locations are same so this is file dot c okay and this is the test file in a text format this is a test f open so this f open has created this text this test file in a txt format or uh, so that we can easily write it okay so this is the concept of file handling whatever the file you are uh, making here that file is created or stored in your hard disk permanently so this was about the concept of file handling in which we have studied about the various functions of file handling how the file pointer should be open what are the various modes of file handling and i have seen i have, and i have shown you that when you create a file how that file is created into the hard disk and how that file is stored into the hard disk permanently and these are the some good books from the s chan publishing i hope you are liking this video so please do subscribe like and share thank you all rights reserved this video has been prepared for educational purposes only no part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder